Hi guys, Rosie with the Cackling Moon. This is going to be your weekly energy reading for the week of August 19th through the 25th. Um, please look at your sun, moon, or rising sign, all three, one or the other, doesn't matter, whichever one you feel like you resonate with the most. Um, this is just a reading to give you guys some guidance for the week ahead. And let's start with the earth signs. So my earth signs, we have Hierophant, the Ten of Pentacles, and Support. So, um, earthy signs, you guys are going to be quite the, the, like the spine, literally with a support card. You're going to be the, the spine, the support system this week. Um, and a lot of dynamics, especially per pertaining to family or people who are most close to you. Okay. Um, that 10 of, that 10 of pentacles kind of resembles <clears throat> a coming together, a community, you being the spine, the, the support system of the community this week. Okay. Your work relationships, like I said, a lot of the family issues um, or your own family in, in, in itself, but you're really going to be kind of that glue that's going to be holding everybody together. It's a lot of responsibility, earthy signs, but with that Hierophant energy that you're embracing this week, you're going to be one of those people like the old soul with all of the wise wisdom and wise advice and People are going to be coming to you to ground, okay, Earthy? <laughs> Earth signs, ground yourself this week because other people are going to come, be coming to you for that. And so really beautiful cards. There's also um, some abundance coming your way this week as well as that Ten of Pentacles can reveal some good things um, in plentiful amounts coming towards you this week. Um, so it could, for some of you, this could be payday week. Some of you, um, you might be receiving some abundance and answers and prayers that you've been setting out for the week. Um, but a lot of good energy, good vibe. But if you are in a good place energetically, you're grounded, you're ready to go, people may be coming to you to... to seek some support to seek some advice and whatnot so get ready for that my guys my guys <laughs> my loves <laughs> my guys oh my god okay so air signs air signs you have the devil and the empress and the opposition so my earthy signs is this an opposition between you know your temptations and the things that you know you, you need to take care of is this is this being opposing yourself? Um, I feel like this is like a, your the the matters of your heart. Empress energy is like all nurturing, whereas the devil energy is more temptation. So a lot of my air signs, you may be feeling that temptation with something that is um, that you're in in kind of like a competition with or in, in in a sort of like a confrontation with that kind of energy. Um, I feel like this is personal. Um, personal things, mindsets, physical things, goals that maybe you had in mind. Um, for example, um, the temptation of wanting to eat the sweets that you know you shouldn't be eating. And then also knowing the Empress energy that you should be taking care of your body and yourself in a different way. So that's kind of an example, but it, you know, it's not, that's not just the only thing. Um, but for my earth signs, the opposition that I'm seeing is you may be seeing a lot of opposing, um, energies this week so being in opposition with other people's points of views being in opposition with other people's choices of 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 pleasure or interest um you may be finding yourself in in a little bit of arguments with people or you might be finding yourself in arguments or in opposition with yourself so this could be a lot of um, a need for with that with that empress energy um a need for nurturing the self focusing inward on you um especially if you're battling certain things with yourself I feel like it's a lot of opposing you, like mirror imaging, that kind of thing. Um, so I, I wouldn't say it's going to be a completely negative week for you guys. I would say that this that that may be the challenge this week for you guys is the opposition, the feeling like you are just completely like hitting the wall with certain people and things and goals that you may have wanted to meet this week. You might find yourself falling a little bit short with that, with that devil card, okay? Um, fire signs, we have judgment, seven of cups and sorrow. So one of these things I feel is with the judgment and the sorrow, I feel like some of you guys, some of my fire signs have kind of like walked away or stepped away from the path. 
Um, some of you guys have kind of been off on a tangent for a while. Some of you have been, you know, fulfilling other purposes and needs that you have been wanting to, but that judgment card to me is it's kind of like saying like you've been feeling the call. Okay. Um, is this a spiritual call? Is this, is this, is this energy of like, you knowing you need, you need to tap in and, and become one with yourself again. Some of you guys may have felt yourself lost. You know what I mean? Like disconnected. Um, and then now you're going to be starting to come back into center again this week. Um, the Seven of Cups is a lot of priorities. There's a lot of choices to make for some of you, but a lot of priorities that are kind of all jumbled right now. So what I'm feeling is like my fire signs are just, you know, you got to get stuff done. Maybe you've been taking a break or you've been feeling like you need that break because this, this was your season, this Leo season. Um, and now that this Leo season is starting to wind down, um, you guys are probably going to start feeling the need to kind of get organized again with that Virgo energy that's going to be coming up. Um, so, you know, getting more, um, invested in in your organization getting more invested in focusing on you know what you need to um what you really need to be taking seriously this week um and some of you i feel this could be a spiritual call with that judgment card some of you may be feeling like spiritually con disconnected and now you're feeling like you're ready to you know have a one-on-one -on -one with your higher self or with god or with your your guides or who how whoever however you connect um, but not everybody, not everybody's going to be feeling that way. Um, and then also this week may be a little bit of a sorrowful week. So you guys may be feeling that energy. And if you are feeling it, some of my fire signs tend to not want to be in that mode. You don't want to be in that watery mode. Um, but it might be good for you guys. Okay. So hang in there this week, fire signs. Um, and then what water signs, we have magician, the four of wands, and imagination <laughs> and I love that there's a little bat there because I was totally feeling this fall vibe that we're gonna be like starting to walk into as we get closer to September um, so I'm just, I feel like that bat is like a little omen that it's coming, like our season is coming. Um, okay, so anyways, the magician card with the imagination just tells me that we have the ability to create some of our wildest dreams into reality. So my water signs, if there are things that you've been wanting to really manifest into your life, you have all these amazing ideas, write them down. I'm always telling you guys to write them down because we easily forget, you know, um, but write down your amazing ideas. And, and I feel like this magician card is just kind of saying, don't be afraid to, to try to manifest some of those fantasies into reality. Um, as water signs, we tend to live in fantasy, but we can also create a fantasy world within our reality. And then we're like 10 times even more happy. You know what I mean? Um, that four of wands is a lot of the household stuff. This is stability for us, the groundingness. So make sure we are grounded just like our earthy signs being grounded, but also also, I feel this is manifesting within the home. So a lot of us water signs may be doing stuff within the home this week, um, focusing on maybe cleaning, organizing, cleansing, rearranging furniture, buying new furniture altogether, decorating, redecorating, whatever. But I feel like all of that is just kind of like creating your sacred space that you go to in deep meditation manifesting that in your home with that four of wands. So my water signs, that could be something, you know, something you maybe want to focus on this week. Um, but also just turning into, turning your fantasies into a reality so that you can live the best of both worlds. Okay. Um, but yeah, you guys, that is basically the messages for the week. It looks like it's going to be a pretty basic week for all of us. Um, fire signs, maybe feeling a little low. So if you have a fire sign in your life, make sure you guys are sending them love and giving them some support this week um and then our earthy signs if you guys are in need of a good advice or just someone to give you a kick in the ass the earthy signs looks like those are the people you want to go to <laughs> um and then also be nice to my air signs because they are feeling a little bit opposing with themselves so if they're a little bit moody this week or they're just not feeling it give them some space okay you guys all right you guys i will talk to you later have a beautiful week ahead and i will see you next week bye loves